I had this idea, this crazy vision of blending, you know, my songs with that world of lost music. I found myself really relating to that special movement that came out of Latin America in the 70s that included uh, all these great singers that, that were singing about love in such a raw and real way, these, these crooners, these troubadours. And so I not only physically connect, because I am Argentine 100%, in that, but emotionally I just felt a connection, so I went with it. I went in from a place of strength, I mean that's the big difference um, on this album uh, to Laura. I, um, I wrote Laura um, over four years where I was I think experiencing all the stages one goes through um, while experiencing closure. And so Laura really is about that, you know, it's, it's a very personal album and, and uh, I'm writing from a broken heart, so I'm inspired by one girl, Laura. Life kind of brought us back together and I held on and said I'm never ever going to mess this up again. And, uh, we got married and had a family. I mean, I have to thank Laura, my wife. So you can imagine, like, it was a totally different place, both emotionally and professionally, going into the studio. The music had to sound different, and um, it was scary at first, because, you know, there's that sort of saying that an artist has to suffer in order to create. I'm lucky in that I can say I'm 100% American, uh, but I also feel 100% Argentine on so many things. When it came time to styling them, to dressing them up, we um, in the studio felt like it was only natural to grab like the Spanish guitar and to channel, I think, what that, that sort of music from the 70s in, in Latin America. So. It's really interesting to perform those songs and to, to see how people react all across the world. I'm really proud of the fact that culturally it's confusing. I think that's the coolest, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. Doing something that's never been done before.